Hello friends, this video on atom and molecules part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What are polyatomic ions? Give some example. See, polyatomic ions are clusters, groups of atoms that always have some fixed charge attached to them. These charges can be positive or negative. For example, ammonium ion, OH minus ion, NO3 minus ion. CO3 2 minus ion, SO4 2 minus ion. These are the common ions, polyatomic ions. They are the clusters of the groups of atoms with a fixed charge. Charge can be positive or negative. We have to write the chemical formula for these compounds. Magnesium chloride. I have magnesium metal, chlorine non-metal, plus 2 charge, minus 1 charge. Let's do a swap. For charge balance, this becomes MgCl2. Okay, the next is what? The next is calcium oxide. So let's put that. So we have calcium, we have oxygen, plus 2 charge, minus 2 charge. Let's balance it. This becomes 2, this becomes 2, 2, 2 common, we'll take, we get CaO. The next is copper nitride. Copper is a metal. NO3 is non-metal, so plus 2 charge, minus 1 charge, polyatomic ion, so I put in braces now, so this becomes 1, this becomes 2, this becomes Cu, NO3, 2, aluminium chloride, Al, Cl, plus 3, minus 7, swap it, this becomes Al, Cl3, calcium carbonate, this is calcium, this is carbonate, plus 2, minus 2. This becomes calcium carbonate. Okay. So we have to give the names of the elements present in the compound. Quick lime. Quick lime is uh, calcium oxide. Hydrogen bromide is HBr. Baking powder. Remember, remember this baking powder. This is NaHCO3. Potassium sulfate K2SO. So we have to find the molar mass of these uh, compounds. C2H2, 2 carbon, 2 hydrogen. 2 carbon is 2 into 12, 2 hydrogen is 2 into 1, that is 26 gram. Sulfur 8, S8, so 8 into 32, that is 256 gram. Phosphorus P4, each phosphorus is 31, 31 into 4. 124 gram. HCl, 1 hydrogen, 1, 1 chlorine, 35.5. You add them, you get 36.5 gram. Nitric acid, 1 hydrogen, 1 nitrogen, 14, 3 oxygen, 3 into 16. You solve it, you get 63 gram. So here, again, we have to find the mass of these compounds. The first is the mass of one mole of nitrogen. See one mole of nitrogen is no is nothing but the molecular mass and it is atom. So it is nitrogen atom it is N. So that will be 14 gram. That's all. Second is four moles of aluminium atom. So each mole is 24 7 grams. So four will be 4 into 27 that is 108 grams because it's aluminium atom. Third is 10 mole of sodium sulphide. One mole of sodium sulphide will be how much? Two sodiums, that is 2 into 23. One sulphur, sulphur is 32. Three oxygen, 16 into 3, this many grams. Right, that is 1 to 6 grams. So one mole of Na2SO4, Na2SO3 actually. Yeah is 126 gram. So 10 moles of Na2SO3 will be 10 into 126 gram that is 1260. Okay. Again here you have to convert to mole. 12 gram of oxygen. So 12 gram of oxygen is what? Oxygen gas. Oxygen gas is O2. Please note, 
this is not oxygen atom this is O2 oxygen gas so we know that but 23 gram of O2 gas is one mole so 12 gram of O2 gas will be how many 1 by 32 into 12 that is 0.375 mole of oxygen gas done 220 gram of water we know that water is H2O 16 plus 2 18 18 gram of water is equal to 1 mole of water so 20 gram of water will be how much very simple 1 by 18 into 20 mole and you solve this this is 1.11 mole next is 22 gram of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide molecular mass if you see carbon is 12 plus 16 into 32 that is 44 gram that means 44 gram of carbon dioxide is 1 mole of carbon dioxide so if 44 gram of carbon dioxide is 1 mole of carbon dioxide then 22 gram of carbon dioxide will be 1 by 44 into 22 mole of carbon dioxide and this will be 0.5 mole of carbon dioxide it is easy here you define the mass mass of 0.2 mole of oxygen atoms oxygen atoms is O2 so we know that one mole of oxygen atom is 16 the oxygen atom is O not oxygen gas 16 gram right so 0.2 mole of O atom will be 0 0.2 into 16 is equal to 3.2 gram please note it is oxygen atom is not oxygen gas if it is oxygen gas it will take O2 0.5 moles of water molecule water molecule is H2O we know that one mole of water molecule is 2 plus 16 that is 18 gram so 0.5 mole of water molecule will be 0 0.5 into 18 that is 9 gram okay the next question is calculate the number of molecules of sulfur present in 16 gram of solid sulfur number of molecules c 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules in 1 mole and that is nothing but 8 into 32 grams that is 256 gram so we know that 256 gram of sulfur molecule will have 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of sulfur I want 16 grams 16 grams of S8 will have 6.023 to 23 into 16 by 256 molecules you solve this you would 3.76 into 10 to the power 20 these many molecules will be there in 16 grams of solid sulfur. Let's take the last question. We define the number of aluminium ions present in 0.51 grams of aluminium oxide. So let's see aluminium oxide. Al2O3, you break this into ions, you get 2 aluminium, 3 plus, 3 oxygen, 2 ions. Okay, so aluminium oxide, one mole of Al2O3 gives actually two moles of aluminium ions, right? Correct, this is something we know from this equation. So we can find the moles of Al2O3 in this gram of aluminium oxide because here the grams of aluminium oxide is given. We can find the moles of aluminium ions. If we have the moles of aluminium ions, we can easily find the number of aluminium ions. So Al2O3, the molecular mass, molecular mass 
of Al2O3 is what? Aluminium is 2 aluminium, 2 into 27, 3 oxygen, 3 into 16, 48 plus 54, 102 grams. So that means 102 grams of Al2O3 is equal to 1 mole of Al2O3. And we are talking about 0 0.051 gram of Al2O3. So that means we are here 1 by 102.51 mole of Al2O3. So you solve this, what do you get? You get this by 1000, if you remove this dot, and this is 2. So 1 by 2000 moles of Al2O3. Right? So these moles of Al2O3 is nothing but twice of these moles of aluminium ion. That is from this equation 1 mole of Al3 plus ion. This gets cancelled. That means it is nothing but 1 by 1000 mole of Al3 plus ion. But what we have to find? We have to find the number of actually ions. So 1 mole of Al3 plus ion is nothing but 6.023 10 to the power 23 ion. So these many moles of Al3 plus will be this many moles into a magical number. So you solve it here is equal to magical number 6.023 to 10 to the power 23 ion. And that is nothing but 6.023 to 10 to the power 20 ions. And that is the Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.